What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and today we have yoga for golfers. This is a big request. I want to give a little shout out to my family, the Martinez family. Thank you for always letting me drive the cart. And for all you golfers, this one is for you. So hop into something comfy, take off your shoes, and let's get started. Alrighty, my friends, let's begin in a nice, comfortable seat. If you are not able to come onto the ground or you don't want to get down super low, you can do this first part in a chair. We're going to sit up nice and tall. Just take a moment to take a big, full, conscious breath in. And as you breathe out, relax your shoulders, kind of come into the moment. You've committed to do this practice. Hats off to you. And take another deep breath in and use that exhalation again to relax your shoulders and just kind of come into the present moment. This is important, right? On the course, in the game, the ability to recognize what it feels like to be really present and calm. And of course, the breath is an awesome tool for that. So take one more deep breath in and use an exhale to relax your shoulders. Awesome. Send one leg out. And hug one knee in. If you're in a chair, you can just do a gentle twist in the chair. If you're on the ground, hug one knee in, send one leg out. Everyone sit up nice and tall. Start to really awaken this line of the spine from the crown to the tail, so lots of awareness. And we're just going to take a gentle twist by hugging the knee in towards the chest and then taking the back arm behind you, sitting up nice and tall. If you're in the chair, again, you can just take a regular twist. What we're wanting to do is gain a lot of awareness up and down the trunk of the body here as you twist. So if you feel like the spine is collapsing, see if you can make soft, simple self-adjustments to sit up nice and tall. I am in Nicaragua, so there's lots of sounds around me. Here we are on the little mini golf course here, so you might hear a unique soundtrack throughout the course of this video. Take one more deep breath in here. Use your exhale again to relax the shoulders down. And then release and take it to the other side. Move at your own pace. There's no need to rush or jerk yourself around here. Be kind to your body and find the twist on the other side. Whoa, what a view. Notice how this side is different. One thing for golfers is we tend to really work one side of the body over the other. So we can use tools, uh, you know, practices like yoga to even that out, counterbalance, find balance in the body by strengthening and lengthening the right and the left side evenly. And take one more deep breath in here, fill her up. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Awesome. And then we're gonna unravel and we're gonna come to all fours. So take your time getting there. See if you can move with your breath. And if you're feeling like the body is tired or you know that rickety feeling, or oh, I'm not flexible, just remember that's why we do these practices. If you're already light and flexible, then there would be no need to do things like this. So. It's all good, everything is as it should be. Don't let your pesky mind turn you off from the practice. Once you get down nice and low, stack the shoulders under the wrists, the knees underneath the hip points. And then you don't have to find tension or tightness in the belly, but just a little awareness of your core. And usually I like to invite people to draw their navel up a little bit. And that changes the rotation of the pelvis. And, in, and a good way to think about it is you lift the front body up to meet the back body. So you find a little support through the trunk, also really good for our golf game. Take one more deep breath in here, just gaining more awareness throughout the trunk of the body, all four sides of the torso. And then when you're ready, inhale, drop the belly to the earth, rotate the shoulders away from the ears, so open up your chest and look forward. Big inhale in here. Exhale, reverse it, rounding through the spine, claw to the fingertips so you're not putting a bunch of pressure in the base of the palm or the wrist. And then one more time, inhale, drop the belly. Nice and slow today. And exhale, round through, take your time. 
Navel draws up, up, up. Sweet, inhale, come to a neutral spine. We're gonna curl, or excuse me, turn the left fingertips out and around and stretch through the forearm, the wrist. And if you want a little more here, depending on how you feel in your body, you can rock front and back. Breathe deep. Great, then release, come back to neutral and then turn the right fingertips out, stretching through the wrist, the forearm, breathing all the while. Cool, and then release, awesome. Okay, opening up through the front body, drop the elbows where the hands are. And you're gonna walk the knees back, find a rock in the pelvis, and then slowly melt your heart to the earth. You don't have to come super close to the ground. If your forehead reaches the earth, awesome. But we're opening up through the shoulders and through the front body here, pressing into the fingertips, pressing into the tops of the feet. And essentially you're sticking your butt way up in the air here, breathing in, breathing out. Take one more breath here. And exhale. Awesome, then slowly come back up. All right, one more thing here on all fours. This time you're gonna bring your knees super wide. Big toes come into touch maybe or just come in towards the center. Then walk your hands a little bit forward now and as you're ready, inhale, reach your right fingertips up towards the sky. Feel a big stretch here. And then exhale, bring your right fingertips underneath the bridge of your left arm. And we come in for a twist. Big twist in the upper back body here. Breathing deep. You really wanna feel your breath. So as you breathe in, you should feel the skin of the torso stretch. And then connect to your core, little awareness in the belly as you press into your left palm. So try to move from your core and unravel and switch. Inhale, left fingertips reach for the sky, big stretch. Exhale, thread the needle. Notice how this side is different. You wanna gain that awareness so that you can work on that throughout your yoga practice. Again, counterbalancing any work you do on only one side of the body during your golf game. Inhale and exhale, come back. <sighs> awesome work. Okay, from here, we're gonna walk the knees in, send the hips up high to a downward facing dog. So don't panic if you're new to the practice, just move nice and slow and feel it out. That's the most important thing. You don't wanna just kind of push yourself into a shape, but really feel your hands press evenly into the earth. And then don't worry at all about getting the heels down to the earth. Keep the heels lifted for now and just start to find soft, easy movement that feels good. I just heard a howler monkey, what? They sound like dinosaurs. Okay, so pedal it out and use this valuable time to check in with your body. So the thoughts are really powerful and golfers know this, right? You gotta have that connection to the mind, the concentration. You want your mind working for you, not against you. So practice that here in your yoga, yoga practice. That was redundant, but practice that here. <laughs> okay, take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, walk the feet up towards the hands slowly, keep the knees bent. Take a big forward fold here and bend the knees generously to find awesome release in the lower back. Make sure you're not holding the head or the neck. You might even shake the head a little yes, a little no. You might even rock on the feet a little front and back. Connect to your breath. And then when you're ready, really connect all four corners of the feet to the earth for stability. And then find a little connection to your center, your core. And as you're ready, tuck the chin into the chest and enjoy this Next move is you roll all the way up to standing. And as you stand up nice and tall in what we call mountain pose or tadasana, check in with your breath again. Just notice if you are shifting towards the front of your feet or the back. See if you can spread awareness evenly throughout all four corners of the feet. And when you're ready, take the fingers, swim them around to interlace behind your tailbone. 
And we'll start to open up through the chest even more here by drawing the knuckles down and maybe away. And if you need to square the wrists here, keep lots of space, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, work to bring the palms together. And then again, we want to breathe deep and use each exhale to draw the shoulders down away from the ears. Soft, easy movement in the neck might feel good here. And then again, just keep noticing, are you shifting weight to one side or front to back? Let's see if we can balance out both the right and left side of the body here. Great, take one more breath, inhale. Use the exhale to release the arms. Wonderful, we're gonna inhale, reach for the sky, spread your fingertips, you're gonna feel a nice flow of, of blood or energy here. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, bend the knees generously as you take it all the way down. Just roll with me here. Great, from here, we're gonna step the right foot back, just the right foot, keep the left foot forward. And then you're gonna come onto the right knee and slowly rise back up. Front knee is over front ankle, so you don't want that knee coming way over the toes. Stack it up, light it up, and then, and then see if you can just kind of shift your awareness back to this trunk, all four sides of the torso, lifting and lengthening up towards the sky. Awesome, left hand comes to the top of the left thigh. Inhale, reach your right fingertips up. Big breath in, big breath out. Take your right fingertips over towards the left. You should feel this really awesome stretch through the front of the right hip, the psoas. Breathing deep, inhale. Lift the chin slightly, big stretch. Exhale, come back to center. Beautiful, both hands reach up towards the sky and then release it all the way back down. Beautiful. From here, not, nothing fancy. I'm just gonna lift the back leg and then I'm gonna step the back leg up to meet the front and I'm gonna switch. So left foot goes back, I lower onto the left knee, front, ankle is, uh, front knee is stacked over front ankle, and when you're ready, lift up through the torso. Right hand comes to the top of the right thigh. You can use this as a little reminder to pull that right hip crease in so you can find length through the torso. And then when you're ready, reach the left fingertips up towards the sky. Big stretch, find length through the left side body. And then when you're ready, slowly start to reach towards the right side of your mat. So the lower body is grounded and we're lifting up through the trunk. Big inhale. Big exhale. One more breath, inhale, lift the chin slightly. Awesome, then exhale, come back. Both fingertips reach up towards the sky, big stretch. And then release it down. You got this, beautiful. Lift the back knee, bring it up to meet the front. Great. From here, drop the chin, or excuse me, tuck the chin, drop the crown to the earth, and once again, big release for the lower back. Forward fold. We're here for five. Relax your shoulders. Four. Soften through the jaw. Three. Breathing deep. Two. And one, beautiful. Repeat the roll up, tuck the chin. Come all the way up to standing. All right, one more time. Swim the fingertips around, interlace. This time, opposite thumb on top. Knuckles draw down and away. We open up through the chest, lengthen through all four sides of the torso. Stand up nice and tall. Breathing deep. Awesome, then slowly release. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale all the way down. Step the right foot back. This time you can lower the knee just like we did before or you can keep it lifted. Right hand comes to the earth. Inhale, left fingertips towards the sky. Big stretch. Inhale in. Exhale. If the back knee is lifted, maybe you try to keep it lifted. If it's lowered, you can keep it lowered. You're gonna slowly bring the left fingertips back, right fingertips forward, and lift up through the torso. Imagine lifting up from the armpit chest. So a little more challenging version of that is here. Back knee lifted or back knee lowered. Tap into that core strength. This is huge here for you to breathe using the inhale to find length. The exhale to relax the shoulders down. Take one more big, beautiful breath in here. You got this. Gorgeous, then check it out. This is a challenge. You're gonna send the left fingertips down, right fingertips up for one big stretch here. Inhale, 
and then exhale all the way back down. Awesome work. Okay, same thing on the other side. We're almost done here. Step the back foot up to meet the front. Take a deep breath in, reset, and left foot goes back. All right, your choice, back knee lowered or lifted. Big twist here, when you're ready, plant the left palm. Inhale, lift the right fingertips up high. Draw the shoulder blades together, stick with it, breathing deep. Back knee lowered or lifted. Then when you're ready, light a little fire in your belly, connect to your core. And we'll lift, lift off. Squeeze the inner thighs to the midline for stability here. Pull the right fingertips back. Left fingertips are reaching forward. Imagine you're sandwiched between like two wall, uh, wall pieces or two window panes. Back knee lowered or lifted. Take one more breath. Try to lift up through all four sides of the torso. Find length. And then here's our challenge. More rotation. Right fingertips go down as the left fingertips reach up. You got this. Breathing deep. Long, beautiful neck. Maybe lift your chin just slightly. Yes, and then exhale. Take it down slowly. Awesome work. Plant the palms. This time you're gonna step the right toes back. One plank pose here. You can come onto the forearms here if you like. And we're here for five. Breathing. Four. Three two and lower the knees on the one great take the knees just like we did before as wide as the yoga mat inhale look forward exhale relax child's pose if child's pose is not a relaxing pose for you <laughs> then you can just sit up nice and tall notice how you feel all right slowly rise up come to lie flat on your back this is the good stuff. We'll end with a little release for the hips. So if, if you have open hips, flexibility in the hips already, then you can do regular pigeon. Otherwise, I'm gonna guide us to flat back and we're gonna do our reclined one-legged pigeon. So you'll keep both feet on the ground to start. And you're gonna cross your right ankle over the top of your left thigh. And if you're new to this, this can be a little confusing at first, but then once you get the hang of it, it's a good go-to go release for the lower back, the spine, <clears throat> and the hips, and the glutes, and everything. Okay, right fingertips go in through the hole, and then we'll interlace behind the thigh, not the shin, behind the thigh. Then press your left foot into an imaginary wall, so you're creating 90 degree angle here, best you can and then we'll squeeze the legs towards the heart. You can close your eyes here and just use the sound of my voice to guide you. You can rock gently left to right for a little more stretch. And if you want more in the hamstrings, you'll release that right ankle and just send the left leg up high. So there's lots of options to play and wiggle in and out here, creating space. Awesome, then we'll slowly release. Both feet come to the ground, reset. Take a deep breath in, long breath out, and cross the left ankle over the top of the right thigh, and find it on the other side. I like to imagine my right foot kicking into an imaginary wall here, and then I'm slowly using my left elbow to kind of guide it, guide the left thigh a little bit out. Every body will be different, of course, so Use your breath to explore and find what feels good. Use your exhalations to relax places where you might have gotten tight here, perhaps in the shoulders. Extend that leg if you did on the other side. Maybe taking the right foot up towards the sky. Cool, beautiful work. Take one more big breath in. Then use an exhale to release. Take a second here to bring the arms out to your sides and just windshield wiper the legs one side and then the other. Get a little booty massage, a little massage on the piriformis maybe. <laughs> 
cool. And then from here, you can rock and roll up to a seat, take a nice breath at a seat, or if you want to take a quick Shavasana, you'll just extend the legs out long. Hats off to you for taking the time to tend to your body. I wish you the best on the course. Share this with your friends, your family, other people who play. And we'll finish by bringing the palms together. And bowing to one another, we say namaste.